There has been a fast growth of vineyard uh, churches, and actually it's a movement in Kenya. And uh, possibly, I may really not uh, uh, say that uh, there is one particular thing that has really kind of uh, caused that growth. I think it's a combination of, of, of many things. And uh, uh, one is that I think we've just had a, a, an incredibly good team, uh, really kind of that has that connection and sense of uh, a common calling and, and, and direction. And that has really helped us a lot to kind of pull together uh, in the same direction. And, and uh, again, it's that, um, I, mean, I may talk about um, uh, um, the, the, the sense of, uh, you know, that strong sense of desire for God that is kind of generally uh, anywhere in Africa. Uh, people in Africa really kind of, uh, 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 and um, uh, are really, really love God, and it's, it's like you go to any village, in any city, any place, and you're sharing uh, to people about God, and they're just receptive. And uh, what I would say uh, that maybe is is uh, is uh, is something that is ha uh, kind of helpful uh, in that sense is the sense of relationship that people uh, have in Africa, that people are very relational, they are welcoming. So it's not really difficult to get into people's homes or really kind of getting into people's lives and sharing one's, one's life. People are welcoming and they kind of are very relational. relational. And that's, that's, that's a, a great advantage even for anyone who is doing ministry in Kenya, not really necessarily uh, the vineyard.